session greetings here we will discuss implementation of three input exclusive or using two by one muxes okay so again i have a three input exclusive or okay so let me take the inputs w1 w2 w3 and the output f is equal to w1 exclusive or w2 exclusive or w3 so this stuff we have to implement using two by one muxes. So that's straightforward. Okay, there is no big deal in this. So for two by one muxes, I require single select line or single control line. Okay. So anyways, for three input exclusive or this three input exclusive or is this. Let me take W1, W2, W3 and output as F, okay? So one second. Yeah, so let me draw, I'm drawing a straight line is a big deal. Greetings. Here we will discuss the implementation of three input exclusive or using two by one muxes. So three input exclusive or, okay. So that is, let me take uh, the inputs W1, W2, W3, and F is equal to W1 exclusive or W2 exclusive or W3. So we have to implement this quantity using two by one multiplexers. So let me take, so having said this, so let me take uh, my three inputs of exclusive or gate W1, W2, W3, and output of the gate is F, okay? So I'll take, I have three inputs, so I have four, I mean, I have eight combinations so zero 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 one 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 again zero 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 one one zero one one all right <clears throat> now if you observe carefully i can do something here you see what i can see here is for w1 equal to zero now see if i take first of all let me take the f quantity here okay so anyways i want to perform exclusive or operation among these three quantities so the first one is zero so this is one one zero again one zero this is zero this is one i know this because my exclusive or means odd ones detector whenever i say exclusive or stuff always remember this one of the applications of exclusive or gate is it can be used as odd ones detector so in the combination i have zero 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 i have no ones so zero i have single one so therefore this is odd one so therefore f equal to one again i have odd number of ones so therefore f equal to one so on okay so it's very simple now what i can see here is this if you observe this table carefully, now for W1 equal to zero and for W2, W3, the combinations like 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, I can see my F, this F is equal to W2 exclusive or W3, agree? Because W2 zero exclusive or zero is of course zero, zero exclusive or one is one, one exclusive or zero is one, one exclusive or one is zero. So I can say like this. Now when, so I can say that is when W1 equal to zero. What I can say now when W1 equal to zero, my F2 is equal to W2 exclusive or W3. Similarly, if I see this, if I see this, 
Now, when W1 equal to 1, for this combination, W2, W3, 0 exclusive or 0, I'm seeing 1. And this is for W1 equal to 1, I'm seeing the outputs. From this, what I can say is that this is complemented form. That means this is exclusive nor output. This is exclusive or output. You see, for 0, 0, you have 1. For one one you have one otherwise you have zeros this is what exclusive nor output so therefore when w1 is equal to one my f is complemented form of the previous case w2 exclusive or w3 old complement means this is nothing but simply w2 exclusive nor w3 now having said everything like this now this old stuff is what this old stuff is nothing because this old this entire truth table this belongs to what three input exclusive or gate so having said this so i can say the old stuff is nothing but i mean w1 exclusive or w2 exclusive or w3 all right so therefore so what we can do here I require to use a uh, two by one marks to implement this. So if I take, uh, I mean, any two by one marks, I require single select line for two by one marks and I have two inputs for this. Okay, so what do I do? So out of this three, let me take one of the inputs as control input and I will take that one as W2, okay? I'll take that one as W2 and then I'll try to find out my EF for this. So let me take W2 as my control input. Let me take W3 as my actual input of this multiplexer. So how do I do this now? So let me take the function table or truth table of this. Now you focus here. So I'm just trying to, you know, manipulate this particular stuff. Just see this. Now I take my control or select input as W2, output as F. Okay, as I have single control input, I have two combinations, zero and one. Now, when W2 is equal to zero, what is my F here? Let me take one more color. Maybe I'm, I'm showing some SC here. When W2 is equal to zero, what is my F? F I'm seeing here zero, one. Okay, whereas W3 also I have zero one. So I can say like this, when W2 equal to zero, I can say F is equal to W3. So F equal to W3. Similarly, if I choose this guy, let me take, let me take which, this color I'll take, okay. When W2 is equal to one, when W2 equal to one, I'm seeing F is equal to one zero, whereas in W3, I'm seeing zero, 01. So how these two are linked? So I can say F is equal to this guy, F is equal to, I can say W3 complement. So from W2 is equal to one, F is equal to W3 complement. Okay, so this is of course, one of the exclusive OR gates. So we took exclusive OR between W2 and W3. That's the meaning of this. Yes or not? What is this F here now? I can say F is equal to W2 complement W3 or I can say what W2 W3 complement. That means as of now what we found is this W2 exclusive or W3. Okay, so three input exclusive or already we performed this. Now what we do? We will, con I mean we will take exclusive or with one, that is W1, then we will get the total answer. That's simple, that's very easy, right? So now what I'll do, I have to go for the next slide. I don't have any other choice. Let me go for the next slide. The slide is occupied with fonts. Let me, uh, yeah, okay. So now let me take the very first mux. Okay, I have the first mux like this. 
Okay, so I took my W2 as my control input. Okay, so I have from that truth table what I have when W2 equal to zero, so W3 will be selected. When W2 equal to one, so W3 complement must be selected. So I have this, okay? So this is the output. Now in the output, what I'm seeing here is, this is my say output, okay? So that means when W2 equal to zero, so output is W3. And when W2 is equal to one, output is W3 complement. So that means I have W2 exclusive or W3 here, okay? This is what I'm doing. Where is my, yeah, this one, okay? So I just implemented this guy. Yeah, I just implemented this function table using a single two by one max. See, the control input is W2 and output is now this EF is this. All right, now what I can do now, okay. <clears throat> now the output of this, so the output of this, I can give to whom? I can give to another two by one max. Okay, now you just tell me what must be the control input here. Obviously we have chosen W1 because you see, we have here when W1 equal to zero, because you have here when W1 equal to zero, F is equal to W2 exclusive or W3. When W1 equal to one, F is equal to the complement of the previous case. That is, let's, let's occupy this. Now when W1 equal to say zero, now W2 exclusive or W3 must be selected and that will go to F output. Okay, when W1 equal to one, now what we get? We will get the complemented form of W2 exclusive or W3. So therefore it is simple. Now let me implement for this. So finally, what we get here is this. So F is equal to W1 complement and W2 exclusive or W3, all right? So that means when W1 equal to zero, so this guy, this guy will be selected and given to the output. So this is two by one max. So this is also two by one max. So when W1 equal to zero, you have this exclusive or, or when W1 is equal to one, we have the complemented form of this. Okay, that's it. So what I have is this, finally. This is my year. Finished, right? So let me choose this W2 exclusive or W3 as some X. Now what I have here is this, F is equal to W1 complement and X, or I have W1 and X complement. This is nothing but what? W1 exclusive or X. And X is equal to what you have? W2 exclusive or W3, that's it. So we obtain the answer this. So this is very easy, right? So now we have implemented three input exclusive or using two by one multiplexers. So we require two two by one multiplexers. And of course I have two NOT gates here. Every NOT gate can be realized or any NOT gate can be realized using a single two by one max, but NOT gate is available directly. So let me make use of it. Here I don't want to show a not get again with another two by one max. So therefore I can say we require two two by one maxes to implement three input exclusive or stuff or gate, whatever you call. That's it. Thank you.